much to do with the Irish people, Irish groups and all that? Or did you, I, did I you didn't mix? To tell that you didn't, yeah. I had English friends uh, till, I di till they died. Mm. Good friends. Uh, some Irish, but not, uh, I wasn't in the ghetto. <laughs> yeah, and were you, were you going to Irish clubs or anything like that? Would you Irish go to clubs? Yeah, yeah. I went once. Once ever, yeah. That would be unusual, wouldn't it, for Irish people, because they tend to stick together, don't they? They do, but they were a different kind of Irish. Mm. I found that when I went to the club, they could leave you in the middle of the <laughs> floor. <laughs> they thought they were at home. <laughs> He's not on screen. Yeah. So you came back to, when did you come back to Ireland then, here? 64. 64. And you're back since 64? We're back in Dublin. In Dublin, yeah. Yeah, we're, we should be real Dubliners, but Linda is, but I'm not. I'm still... <laughs> and how many children do you have? Three. Three. And you've written a couple of books? I have. That one. This one? And one, which was called one, uh, 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 A Night in Gelsang. This is about the war, you said, That's is it? about the war, mm. mainly. Michael called it a love story. I call it a, a war story. <laughs> <laughs> bit of both. A little bit of both. Yeah. And, oh, yes. And your family are writing books. Michael has written one about Clube. Yeah. New one, yeah? Michael has written about six. Six? He has about six books, okay. He wrote me a lovely uh, a collection of poetry for Christmas. I love it. Do you? I yeah. read it every day. Yeah. But you read a bit. You do. You read it regularly. Yeah. It's really, it's absolutely lovely. And what the for you? And he he just had the one printed. One book. One book. for you. Yeah. No, oh, that was nice, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Are there much changes? Now, between now and when you were young, what would you think are the big changes? There are changes there. Well, there's more prosperity. Mm. They, they, they might not uh, agree to that, but the key has been through bad times. Mm. Uh, when Dev got in and brought in the road transport, mm. it meant the <laughs> ships coming into D Dublin and some of the b bigger ports, Westport and the like, was forgotten. They were gone, yeah. And everyone at the quay depended on the port. Mm. Uh, so, huge families, up to 12 kids, mm -hmm. <laughs> and no uh, jobs. So they had to emigrate? Well, they had to emigrate. Yeah. They had to emigrate, yeah. We all emigrated. Mm. And so, and as I said, love for Ireland started in Hollyhead. <laughs> yeah. You said you went guide. You were a guide in Ireland, were you? I was guiding for 22 years. And how did you get that job? I, well, I applied for the course, hmm. which was put on by Geraldine Murcher at that time. An excellent course hmm. with the the lecturers from the universities. And where was it held? In Dublin, is it? In Dublin. Mm. Um, God, where did we go? Trinity, I think. Um, but they came from Trinity and UCD. Mm. That was, it was a great course. But when we'd finished after a year, uh, Board Fortune changed its name. Mm. And we had to do another exam for them. Mm. But I passed those two. Yeah. And what year was that around? Um, I think it was the middle of the 70s. Mm. I, I was working until I was over 80. Oh, good on you. Yeah. Well done, yeah. I loved yeah. it. And tell me this. And who, whose buses were you on? Were the Port Fawlty buses or CIE buses or...? I was still working for Geraldine Mercia. 
And had she uh, her own business? She did. She had her own. But she was well in with Board of Oh, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and where were you going to? Round, round Ireland. All around Ireland, yeah. uh, And sometimes just Dublin. Hmm. So I was a Dublin guide and an Irish guide. So you know a lot about the country then, you do? I did. You did. But my memory is gone. That happens. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. So were you staying in good hotels and all that now? When you oh, were touring? the best. The best, yeah. The best. So yeah. it was a nice lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's had its perks. And were you allowed to mix with the tourists, the guests? Could you mix with them? You could? At night? Our own guests. Yeah. Oh Lord, yes. Yeah. Oh, they. I mean, it, it, sometimes you wanted to get away, mm. uh, but the, they they loved it when you were around because. And where were they mostly from? Mostly American. Mostly American, yeah. Mm. Mm. But there were uh, Swedes were lovely mm. and very much on our side. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and. Uh, even more so than the Norwegians, although they were the ones who came here in mm. largest numbers. Mm. And uh, every, they came from everywhere. What do you think is the key now, the way it looks? Do you, do you like it? I'm delighted to see it looking prosperous, mm. to tell the truth, yeah. because it was one miserable place. Twelve kids, no job. Oh, no, I'm delighted. And what about the town of Westport, downtown? It's a good town. Yeah. It's, I mean, it, you can't compare most of the towns in the country with, with Westport. Mm -hmm. And what are the other big changes you might, you might remember from the old days until now? Well, of course, our life was the bay and the key mm. and the piloting and mm. uh, all that kind of thing. Pollock's Fins is gone. Pollock's Fins. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Do you remember that working? You do, yeah? Oh, oh yeah. yes. But my mother's best friend who worked in Pollock's Fins. Who was that? Uh, Mary Lester. Oh, I know Mary, Her yeah. Her father, before my time, he was the headmaster at the key. School? Yeah. Okay. Tom Nestor, a very nice man. And she was, as I say, a great friend of the family. Mm. Mm. Yeah. She's not that long dead. Not Mary. really. Yeah. Yeah, she mm. was, uh, she was a hundred. Probably in a hundred, yeah, 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 yeah. And who was manager of Pollock Fins that time? Who was the manager? Manager? Did you know the manager in Pollock Fins? Oh yes, De Fleury. De Fleury. Yes. He was the. Yes, he worked back. This I lived back. Yeah. I still think I'm in Rossbed. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. Does he? Um, was he the first manager? I wonder. He what? was. He was the manager that I remember. That you remember, okay, yeah. right, yeah. Do you remember the Malloy, the Malloy business? Oh, Lord, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, when we were building our new house, we bought all our stuff from Malloy's. Mm. They were a big business that time, yeah? Yeah. Big business, yeah. Yeah, and I, I became friendly with Johnny later. Can you remember any of the doctors around at the time? Who was your doctor? I remember Dr. Gill. Gill? Oh, yeah. And where does he live? Uh, um, on the quay, is it? No, he lived on the Altamont Street. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. Any other doctor that you remember? It was the Dr. McGreal there. Did you know him? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. He was the one who was with us most of the time. Mm. Nice man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you know any of the priests at the time? Father Patterson. Patterson. Father Gibbons. Gibbons. Father Gallup. Somebody else like that. Yeah, I know. 
Do you go to Mass every Sunday? No. No, then? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And I, uh, I go to the service now, whatever it is. In, in St. Mary's? On the television. Oh, okay, right, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And did you say the rosary every night? I don't. The rosary? You did do, long ago, yeah. My grandmother did. Your grandmother did. <laughs> And maybe my mother did in Lent or something like that. Was there much religion in England? In the convent? Yeah. Oh, up to there. And how about when you went to work? <laughs> Less of it. <laughs> but that didn't affect me. I, I knew what I wanted. What age are you now? I'm 98. 90? Eight. Eight, okay. And why do you think you live this long? Ah. Well, that's... I don't know the answer. Well, I think your family live a long time, don't they? Yes, and... Yes. I, the, I found a grave back there of Peter Hawkins, the same mm. name as my father. Mm. He was born in 1706 and died in 1802. <laughs> <laughs> and he had a son called Hugh, or, or Hubert, yeah. and I had an uncle called Hubert, mm. but that was another generation back. You don't say you lived long because you were a good smoker or drinker, no? No, I didn't. You were neither, were you? Uh, I didn't smoke. You didn't smoke. And uh, I drank during the war, we all did, and I still enjoy mm. one a day. And was it easy to get it during the war? Yeah, you got all sorts of poison. <laughs> oh, some of it was terrible. What they called Irish whiskey. Did you, England. Did you ever get putching? I tasted it. Mm. What do you think? Oh, <laughs>